What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today, from my home office, we're going to break down the game of Towson's talented defensive end, Ryan Dallaire. First, let's take a look at Ryan Dallaire in our player profile, 6'4", 255, graded him out as a third-round prospect and compared his game to Beyond Warner, coming out of Florida State, who now plays for the Indianapolis Colts. His career at Towson actually started at UMass before transferring to Towson, and he finished his Tigers career with 22 and a half sacks, 32 TFLs, and four INTs. I chose the Delaware game because it was one of two Towson games that I saw live and in person, and in this ball game, I came away with a greater appreciation for Delaire's ability to defend the run. First off, stopping the run is about attitude and want to, and Ryan Delaire displays both on a consistent basis. The first thing you see is his ability to beat blocks and make the play. It doesn't matter if it's a base block, reach, fold, or fan block, Delaire plays with great technique and leverage to get the job done. And as he transitions into a stand-up outside linebacker in the NFL, his ability versus the run makes him a three-down player because he's more than capable of setting the edge, squeezing gaps, and clogging up running lanes. A lot of this can be attributed to the great coaching he received at Towson and the fact that he played with his hands in the dirt throughout the course of his career. Also of note that in a lot of these plays, you're seeing Delaire play with great length using all of that 6'4", 255 pound frame to make plays. I'm a big fan of the movement skills of Ryan Dallaire. In this example, he shows you all of what you need to see, the ability to rush, redirect, and pursue the ball carrier. Pretty good fluidity for a guy who is predominantly a hand-in-the-dirt type of defensive end in college, and it shows you that he's not awkward on his feet and also in space. Important traits to have as he makes the transition to the next level. Great example here of staying assignment sound. Delaire maintains gap responsibility while reading running back to quarterback before making the play. That's a textbook job right there. And finally, when looking at Delaire's ability to get to the quarterback, he shows the ability to get there a variety of ways. He does it with hustle, quickness, technique, leverage, and explosiveness to the QB. Delaire also has a unique ability to turn a corner without losing speed or opening the side door, so to speak. His hands are quick and active, which nine times out of 10 results in him making the play. So as you can see, Ryan Delaire is a guy that can do it on both ends of defense. He can stop the run, he plays with great technique, and he can also get to the quarterback, which is why, once again, he's one of the more underrated edge rushers in this year's draft class. 